This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to start a new series on bugs. Uh, it's fitting being that Halloween is right around the corner. We're going to talk about spiders. So why do spiders love to get into your home this time of year? This question was actually just asked on my videos. One of my videos, someone actually posted and asked why spiders get into your home, why they've seen an increase in spiders since early fall. And so I wanted to address this problem and I want to go over it. I want to talk about it and I want to explain why spiders come in and how you can hopefully combat the spider issue in the fall of the year. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. It does help the channel out a lot. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, if you do subscribe to the channel, to hit the notification bell. On Thursday nights, I go live, typically after 9, 9.30 or so. Uh, that's when I like to do my, my live streams. I usually get the kids in bed. And once they get somewhat quiet, <laughs> I jump on and try to answer your questions for a couple hours. Uh, I know it's late night for a lot of people, but I work for myself. I'm a 24-hour pest control company. I got a family. Uh, and so it's really the only time I have is Thursday nights for about an hour or two. And so anyway, let's stop talking about that. Let's get on with spiders. So I want to I want to go over spiders. So spiders aren't really an insect that invades the house in the winter. Now, I know you start seeing them. They'll start coming around and you'll see an increase in webs around your lights, around your windows, around your door frames. You might go out every single morning, maybe even multiple times a day in and out of your door and run through a spider web three or four times where the spider just keeps coming up and remaking the web every single time you break it. And so it's really common right now to be getting this issue because like I said, Halloween's right around the corner. We're right in fall. We're right in the autumn season and it's right when all the bugs are bad. I mean, people start seeing stink bugs, ladybugs, flies, wasps, hornets, Lots of things start trying to get into your home for hibernative purposes. Crickets is another one, roaches, oriental cockroaches. There are so many bugs uh, that like to come in the home this time of year. It is a buffet for spiders. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. They sit there, and they're, they're the hunter, all right? So the way I explain this to people, and I've used this uh, this euphemism before even in my live streams and on a couple other videos I've made about spiders is that you've got to think about it like a spider does so if you're a hunter and you're going looking for white-tailed deer or a raccoon or you know whatever you're hunting you're not going to go to a target or a mall parking lot to try to find these types of animals because it won't be there you're a hunter where do you go you go into the woods you maybe sit into a tree stand or a duck blind or something like that and this is what you're going after this is what you're trying to hunt and you go into their neighborhood you want to go into their area where they live so you can get you know so you can hopefully hunt something you know and actually shoot something today but if and you're if you're a spider the places you're going to go are where the bugs are uh, it's really common to find webs all over dust to dawn lights if you leave a kitchen light on uh, at night and you have a window right there maybe above your kitchen sink you'll notice spiders will start to make webs in the window on the outside of the house maybe even on the inside of the house because bugs are attracted to light sources and the spider wants to eat bugs that's what they do and so uh, it's not uncommon to find spiders outside in the middle of winter it may be 20 degrees 10 degrees outside and we're talking Fahrenheit I don't really know what that translates to Celsius but you know it's below freezing and the bugs or, I mean, the, the spiders, anyway. You find spiders. You can turn over a rock. I was actually found a uh, black widow one time uh, underneath a rock in my yard, 
and it was 20 degrees outside and it was the middle of February. You know, it was, it was pretty cold. And I don't know what the spider's trying to eat under a rock, you know, maybe some ants or something when it warms up during the day. But other than that, she's not really gonna get a lot of food. Now, spiders don't have to eat all the time either. They can get a blood, they can get a meal every so often and they're happy with that. But they like to get as much as they can, especially if the bugs and stuff are gonna be going around and trying to get in and out of the house and so they know where they're gonna go. They sit in the way. The wolf spiders, field spiders, um, you know, these real big spiders that kind of hunt for food, they don't even make webs. You'll start seeing them in the house. You may see them sticking their legs out from around a baseboard or from underneath a couch because they're sitting there hunkered down waiting for an ant or a cockroach or, you know, maybe a cricket or something like that that they come in this time of year. They're waiting for them to walk across and then they jump out and they get them and they eat them. And so this is what spiders do. So if you're having problems with spiders coming in the winter, uh, there are ways to combat this issue. You want to try to do what I would call, consider a general pest control type pesticide application. Now I've got a video on general pest control. I'm going to post it right here and you can click that link and you can go watch that video and learn how to do pest control as far as general pests. Now general pests cover a lot of things. They cover not just spiders, but they cover ants and crickets and silverfish carpet beetles, all kinds of bugs and stuff that try to get into the house, this is going to cover all of those bugs. And this is really more of a year-round type uh, application method uh, where you know you may want to change your chemicals based on the time of the year or the season and what types of bugs you're trying to combat. But one of the things I usually recommend to try to get rid of spiders and try to eliminate spiders, especially around the outside of your house, is something like a synthetic pyrethroid. Um, check your labels. Make sure spiders are on the label. If spiders aren't on the label, the pesticide may not work very well for spiders because spiders are not insects. Spiders are arachnids. Most pesticides are targeted to kill all types of bugs, including spiders. But like I said, just read your labels and make sure spiders are actually on the label so you know what you're doing is going to be effective. So one of the ways that we uh, get rid of spiders is we treat around, maybe treat the yard with some granules, do a granular pesticide throughout the yard. Uh, this is going to help with your uh, hunting spiders and things that crawl across the surface of the earth really regularly. Most spiders actually crawl over the earth before they even make a web. And so this is going to take care of a lot of the bugs in your yard. It's going to take care of ants and cockroaches, silverfish, uh, springtails, lots of things that will breed in the yard. This will help a lot. I mean, this, this makes a huge difference on bugs just in general. And you want to try to cut down on the bug population because like I said, this is what the spiders are attracted to. This is what the spiders want to eat. They want to eat bugs. So if you can kill the bugs, the spiders are not going to be as attracted to your house as say other types of bug, uh, bugs may be. So uh, hopefully the idea is to keep the spiders away from your house. If you do leave kitchen lights or bathroom lights or something like that on, try to put up curtains. Try to, try to block the light out so it doesn't go outside through an open window during the nighttime. And this will stop a lot of bugs like moths and uh, mosquitoes and things like that that are attracted to your windows when the light is on. And it's also going to be uh, less attractive to a spider because the spiders are going to want to um, build their webs around a light source because they know that bugs are attracted to light and spiders eat bugs. So try to limit the light that comes outside. Now the reason I say use curtains and not just shut the light off is because I've got small children and I like to leave the lights on in the house, at least a dim light like a night light or a kitchen light, something that's not going to be you know, too glaring throughout the house so that the kids, if they have to get up and get water or they have to walk you know, through the house and use the bathroom or something like that, the light is on and they're able to use the bathroom and not trip over something that you know, kids, they leave stuff in the floor all the time. And so it's just safer that way at nighttime. Uh, and it's safer for me. If I decide I want to get up, get me a glass of water, I'm not tripping over my kids' toys and stuff that they leave in the floor. So anyway, um, this will help a lot with spider control, treating around the exterior. And I usually recommend something like a bifenthrin granule or a towel star, which is also bifenthrin around the outside. It's highly repellent to bugs. Bugs don't like to crawl through it. Also, uh, Demon Max is also a really good pesticide to use outside to try to keep the bugs away. It performs an, a, a really good job as a repellent pesticide. It does kill spiders, kills lots of bugs that try to get in the house. 
and it's very, very effective to keep the bugs away. And so if this is something that interests you and you like this series, it's going to be a short series throughout, probably throughout the end of the year, trying to get ready for the winter, trying to get our houses bug free so we can live in a house that is relatively, you know, bug free through the, through the cold months because this is where we're going to be during the cold months. We're going to spend more time indoors and I want to try to uh, give you an indoor space that you can hang out in that doesn't have a lot of bugs crawling around. So uh, today we're talking about spiders and hopefully next week we'll talk about bed bugs and I want to talk about how to uh, stop the bed bugs from you know, traveling with you when you travel. And uh, if you do have bed bugs and you're one of these people that have bed bug problems, this video is absolutely for you. If you're worried that you might take bed bugs over the holidays to friends or family locations, this is a good video for you to watch so you can learn uh, how not to do that, how not to take bed bugs home with you, or how to take not to take bed bugs not only home with you, but how not to take them with you to your friends and family so you don't end up being that person that brought bed bugs in someone else's home. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget, live Thursday night, we'll do uh, you know meet and greet, talking with me. Uh, I'm, I'm try to get on every Thursday, typically after nine o'clock at night, so we can discuss bugs. You can come on, ask me questions about spiders, ask me questions about bed bugs, ask me questions about you know my family if you want. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty much open to anything if you want to talk about it. So hopefully, um, you know, this video has been beneficial, has been educational, and you've learned something. Uh, hopefully, wherever you live, you're having a good time, you're enjoying your life, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.